Hello YouTube, I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and today I went deep into the world of Hong Kong sleaze, and what I found is an obscure film from 1985 that are based on some gruesome real life murders that occurred only a few years before this movie was made. The film is called Hong Kong Butcher, and here are my thoughts on it. Hong Kong Butcher tells the story, or rather displays the act of a loner taxi driver in Hong Kong. He uses his occupation to stalk and prey on young females that he for some reason or another singles out. That's basically it, we don't really have any protagonist to get ourselves attached to or anything like that. There are other characters than the main killer present in the film, but they serve no or little purpose except being victims for the Butcher. The main thing that I kept from this experience was that this was a dull film. There are so many scenes that hardly go anywhere, and at times had trouble separating the characters as it felt like none of them really mattered anyway. I guess the filmmakers just wanted to tell this horrific story, I wasn't all that interested in exploring the mental state of the killer or anything like that. Him we see driving around, occasionally harassing women, and then at times he snaps and murders some of them, nothing else. The rest of his acts seem very inconsistent and all over the place, so it's hard to understand his persona. I can understand that they didn't want to humanize a real life killer, but they are also creating a movie and not a documentary, so they have to give us something. If not, then focus on the investigation, or give some more backstory to the poor victims of this madman. And the only moment where they tried to do something was at the very end, with a cringe-worthy dialogue scene between the killer and one of his potential victims. It was very out of character from everything we have seen from him in the rest of the film, so yeah, not well executed. <laughs> Hong Kong Butcher also doesn't have all that much to deliver to what I would believe would be its target audience, fans of shock and gore. Yeah, there are some brutal murder scenes that are dirty and nasty to watch, but they are few and do not compare to other brutal films we got from the same time period. This is not the only film based on the horrible real life acts that this movie is based on. The same backstory was used once more in 1992 with the more known Dr. Lamb. Although it's been a while since I've seen that film, I would still say that you should rather go and see that one instead of seeking out Hong Kong Butcher. Hong Kong Butcher is a film that sounds more horrible than what it really contains. It's a boring film with some violence in every now and then, and that's all it has going for it. I can see all the fans of Hong Kong's release being curious about this, but even if this is the type of film that you could find interest in, I'm not going to recommend that you spend your time on it. While I didn't have the biggest hopes in the world for Hong Kong Butcher, it still managed to disappoint me. Hong Kong Butcher only gets a 1.5 out of 5. Has anyone else out there seen Hong Kong Butcher? Did you like it more than I did? What 80s Hong Kong sleaze do you believe more people should check out? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy these types of film from Hong Kong, then you might want to check out my review for Low to Kill from 1993. So yeah, go do that. And as always, thank you so much for spending your time on this channel. I do appreciate it, and I hope you'll be back soon for more horror movie reviews here on Cinema Terror. <laughs>